Joe Nicoletti, I thought, uh, was the right candidate because he has experience on the council. Um, he has a uh, wealth of history and is very aware of the system. He'll come in and he'll hit the ground running, and I thought that he'd be a great candidate. I think that the voters should be concerned about the recent process to uh, fill the seat left vacant by now Assemblywoman Pam Hunter. Uh, there was a process agreed upon by, by sitting councilors to give due considerations to all persons who were interested in the seat. Uh, it appeared that there was an agreement uh, in that discussion. And today, a number of us who were looking forward to that discussion were blindsided with a vote uh, by a few councilors who took it upon themselves to apparently meet privately and make a decision not only for us but for the taxpayers that we represent. Uh, it was clearly underhanded and I think The charter calls for it to be filled by the current council. And so we received resumes over the weekend. Um, there was support for Joe Nicoletti and so we nominated Joe Nicoletti. Clearly there was five votes for it. Uh, you know, there's three folks that were against it. Um, I, uh, I had asked them earlier for their support today. Uh, so they, they were not blindsided before the vote, but they were not given a, a, you know, days in advance warning, but I believe everyone's had the resumes, and I'm also aware that uh, candidates have been reaching out to them, or, or I shouldn't say candidates, but folks looking for the appointment uh, have been reaching out to them, so um, I believe everyone has spoke with most of them.